What's up, guys? Robux Talk back with another draft breakdown. Today we'll be running back out of UCLA, Demetric Felton. He's a smaller guy, probably 5'8 and a half, 190 pounds, ESPN and their numbers. Don't believe it. Uh, but we're going to go over him. Why? Because he could be one of the best pass-catching running backs in the draft. So you see this six-game sample, 668 yards, five, and, five yards of carry, but his hands. He's really good with his hand, three touchdowns, only 159 yards, but again, six-game sample. First three years were at wide receiver, so we're going to break down his hands first because that's pretty much what teams are going to be looking at on him. So plus, initially, what do you see with Demetric Felton? Yeah, like you said, I mean, he's a very dynamic player. He can do multiple things. So here you can just see the natural ability to catch the football and then able to, you know, make guys miss and and score. So he's got uh, what you want from a running back as far as being that playmaker on the outside can really, you know, make some things happen. And really it stretches the defense out and makes them play the whole field. So just gives you that more dynamic uh, attribute to your offense, which most teams in the NFL are looking for. What I like most about this is look for the running, the quarterback's throwing this ball and how naturally he turns to catch this, hands catch, and get upfield. I mean, some running backs would catch that, continue running down towards the sideline. He naturally turns his body to get upfield. Really like that, natural. It's like a wide receiver knowing how to hand catch it and do something with it after the ball. Really like that. More in this USC game. Again, just getting out in the flats, being available for his quarterback, hands catch, make a move, get in the end zone. What do you see? Yeah, like you said, the hands are are really nice. Again, a natural feel. Uh, I like how, like you said, his body is all in one motion. Uh, You can see here it's all directed towards getting upfield, and there's no wasted movement, so that's really nice to see. Again, nice, easy catch, make a nice stop on a dime and get into the end zone. So, guy's a natural playmaker for sure. More hands, simple plays. Just making simple what it is. Supposed to be easy. And some running backs on our team on the Bucks don't have natural hands. More on that later. But still, finding this is a trait. Get in where you can fit in. You're a pass-catching running back. Sell it. Sell it every day, especially on Sunday. He was a four-star recruit coming out of high school as a wide receiver. They switch him to running back, and he has a six-game sample that looks pretty dang good. But it's just more repeating the, whole, the same old, same old. Use what you got. He's got good hands, and he can get upfield. What do you see? Yeah, these these plays should be automatic. I mean, this would just be you know a nice, easy completion. You get your five to seven yards. Again, it's moving the chains. Uh, we're gonna see it here. You know, just throw it in on the flat. You know, let this guy get upfield and make something happen. Um, again, you know, he's not the most shiftiness of of players, but again, he's gonna get what he can. He's he's no wasted movement type of guy, and, and this all should be. You know, again, it's clockwork uh, here. Again, just fighting upfield and, you know, making the most of what is available. This is, it keeps your offense on schedule. And when you can have, you know, things like this, really makes you tough to stop, uh, you know, from a defensive standpoint. And a smooth runner. And like you said, like, if you drop balls like that, easy, make it easy breadbasket catches. I mean, your whole offense st- sputters for a moment and, you have to reestablish. Oh, now we got second and 10 and said we could have had an easy second and, four, second and five. But I'll let you break down this one. Really smooth runner with the ball in his hands. Setting up blocks. Natural. Just smooth. It's nothing electric. It's more just gliding through. What do you see? Yeah, he's not He's not going to be a home run threat type of guy. Uh, not, you know, electric speed. But when he gets moving and he gets out in open space, he can make things happen like you're going to see here. Again, he just, you know, finds his blockers. Again, nice read and vision here to, you know, stop on the brakes, cut it back, and then find open space. So, again, he's got a he's got a nose for the end zone, which is nice to see. Um, here, again, it shows good vision as a running back. Again, nice little moves there. Be able to, you know, drive up field and get the most you can. And I re- so now we're talking about the running game. Obviously, hands first. But check out this jump, jump hop. I mean, jump cut. Literally, he's like, okay, the middle of that line isn't really doing that well. I'm just going to bounce this outside, which he really likes to do. Then check how low he gets here to cut this fake inside, go outside, pick up more yards. I mean, he has a little bit of shiftiness to him. It's not elite by any means. But still, it's that's that's a nasty move right there. A little head fake inside, bounce it back outside, really like it, and then pick up as much as you can. Don't just run out of bounds. Keep going on. Make you miss in space right here. Really like this move. 
Guy's like, I got you. You're five yards behind the line. Nope. Let me bounce back out a little bit, a little stiff arm, get up field, pick up yards. What do you see? Yeah, like you said, he's got very good uh, – I think his ankle flexibility is pretty good. I mean, right here, again, he shows good balance. He shows – you know, he sees the vision, uh, you know, guy right in his face. So he's he's got that ability to make quick movements um, and, you know, combining that with his receiver skills, that's, that's a deadly threat um, to have play. in the running game. You know, here, yeah, same play. So, yeah, just being able to jump back and then create more space for yourself, that's that's really nice. And not, not a lot of scared. backs can do that. Right, not getting scared, not just admitting defeat, just saying, oh, let me just see if I can get around this guy, leverage around, get outside again. So he really does like to get outside. I'll give him that. But for a guy that doesn't have elite speed, that's, that's telling. But then when he does run in between the tackles, I like this. Look at this. Nifty, you can't see him, getting skinny. And then trying to get to that outside burst, giving that guy a little stiff arm and then an open field. We mentioned he's not going to beat you with his deep speed, but still it's just the shiftiness to get there. And then same play, different angle. I'll let you break it down a little bit more. Yeah, again, just shows good patience. Uh, I like how he, you know, you know, he sees he sees things right there as it's breaking down. You know, he's got, you know, a lot of traffic, gets skinny, like you said, makes a nice move to the left, a little stiff arm there, breaks the tackle. So good job of combining um, some moves there. And then, yeah, just getting downfield, you know, not wanting to go out of bounds. That's, that's really good. So he's got a lot of toughness to his game too. So motor toughness, all that good stuff you want in a running back shiftiness again. So the middle of the field isn't there. Not going to force what's not there. Get outside. Do I continue outside? No, let's cut this fake and get upside or get up field. Really like this. Just trying to get as much as he can. Then little stiff arm again denying the out of bounds and keep going upfield. What do you like? Yeah. Again, it's just, uh, I, I like the vision. You can see it. I mean, yeah, he's got an opportunity to maybe follow number two there and go up the middle, but he sees the potential for the bigger play. So that that's what he really is. He loves making big plays. As you can see, that's why he wants to get to the outside. Um, and it can really, it, it helps him because this is where he's best at, you know, making plays in open space. Um, again, not the most shiftiness, but he can make things happen here again. Just nice little cuts, you know, being able to stop on a dime. And look how he's setting that up. I mean, his whole head is showing outside, and then he cuts it back right at the last second. So really good vision to see the opportunities, um, you know, available to get more yards and maximize his running uh, potential or his running opportunities. And you said it, he's selling it pretty well. He's really high as well. Usually, if you're running that high, you're just trying to dart one direction. Then he quickly lowers his body, gets his legs down, lower center of gravity, and just gets upfield, makes a nice cut on this defender. I mean, that's that's pretty good. I mean, he's got a lot of good traits that you like that you can translate into the NFL. Yeah, then here, talk about getting skinny. And the hole's not there yet. He's seeing this hole create by this guard pulling, getting that outside defender. There's nothing there until he runs right into it. Letting the hole create, getting skinny, finding a hole. Really like that. Yeah, like you said, I mean, he's just he's being patient, again, showing good vision, understanding where opportunities are going to come from. And, and this is probably why, you know, he only had 152 attempts, but he had over 600 yards. So, again, that just shows you that he was maximizing his ability here. I like the effort, again, fighting through traffic, breaking tackles. Yeah, it's really nice. So, again, a, a solid prospect that, you know, could do a lot of different things for you here. That's a nice little, you know, just a little shimmy, little shimmy shake there and then get up field. So, yeah, I mean, he's, he's very dynamic here as a blocker now. Yeah, so willing effort team player, he's going to do what he has to, to get on the field first of all, and then to actually succeed when he's on there only five, eight and a half, 190 pounds smaller. So he's going to have to use everything he's got to do this. And even in the blocking game, I mean, pass blocking, you're going to have to do that to get on the field, especially if you're going to be a third down pass catcher. And this is good vision to see where is that blitzer coming from. He's looking all the way other side of the field, gets over there in time to give his quarterback time. His quarterback just needs to make a fast decision. But other than that, he's, he's a nice little back. He's still maturing as a running back. Again, three years as a wide receiver first, primarily. He could be had by day three. Like, you can see teams like the Patriots taking a guy like this, making something with him, the Chargers, guys that know how to do things with pass-catching running backs. I hope 
my Buccaneers take a look at them. We'll see. We need pass catchers. But I don't know. You let us know in the comments down below. If you like this content, make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't just yet. Comment. Let us know if we're wrong, we're right. Just let us know something. We'll see you in the next one.